For R&B and gospel fans, there is no other holiday show like it. A soulful Christmas, a groovy musical review takes you back to the disco era, and it centers around a fictional dance show that mirrors the iconic TV show Soul Train. Joining us today are the co-creators of A Soulful Christmas, Anthony Wayne and Kendrell Kendrell. 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 <laughs> Bowman. Right. So nice to see you guys again. Hey, it's great to nice. be back. Yeah, yeah. You, you have such terrific energy. Oh, thank and you. this show, look, if you've had a lackluster holiday, this is the show you need to go to. It sure yeah. is. <laughs> it is a 1970s Soul Train disco holiday musical, like you said, based on um, Soul Train. So. Yeah. And why did you think that this was the best way for you guys to celebrate the holiday? You know, everybody's just got Christmas music all over the place, but <laughs> you took a different turn. Because of our other shows, we have, you know, Sylvester, Mighty Real, Fabulous Sylvester Musical, mm -hmm. and an Evening with Phyllis Hyman. Anthony and I, we love soul music. Mm -hmm. So it just made felt natural to make a musical around soul music. Because in New York City, it was only the Rockettes, yeah. Mariah Carey Christmas show, and we needed something for the minorities on Broadway. Yeah, and it is an absolute blast. I've had yeah. people, co-workers call me going, do you think you can get me tickets to come see this? <laughs> they, they have absolutely loved it because it is music that we can all just mm. celebrate and kind of dance and party with. Yeah. And you're telling me this year is a little extra special Oh, yes. That's just, <laughs> I mean, we have a whole new cast of incredible people that we found here in New York City. And, um, you know, we definitely bring back all the songs that you know that remind you of. You I know. love the fact that he dances out yeah, in it's all this, I know, right? I know. I gotta, can't help but do it, you know? But it is one of those shows that where there's lots of audience participation, right? Yeah. Yes, there's audience participation. And we also even paired up with the Queen of Harlem, Melba herself. Mm -hmm. So we give out prizes during the show and we created a Soul Train line in the middle of the audience so that audience members can feel a part of the show and they're on stage winning prizes. It's just a fun time. You can come to the show alone and leave with three or four friends. It's oh, that yes. type of vibe. I love that. Come yeah. alone and leave with three or four friends. <laughs> so this is the seventh year, right? Seventh year. Seventh year. Does it get easier or more difficult to pull off? Well, it gets, I mean, it's, it's still because we consistently try to make it bigger and bigger. And even during the pandemic, we were able to at least stream it so that people could see it or uh, see a version of it. And so um, it does get bigger and we try to keep it more interactive and more exciting the more and more we do it. So. And every time I talk to you, you're always pumped up. You don't get bored with it. Uh, no, you know, the, I, 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 we love music. And you mm -hmm. know, the great thing about this show, it allows us to see new talent here in New York City. Mm -hmm. We've had the cast is of 12 people, and we yeah. even have the lead from The Lion King. He's in our show playing uh, like Little Michael Jackson. Then yeah. we have some people. Did you say Little Michael Jackson? Uh -huh. uh, 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 yeah, uh, I'm like, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. In our show, it's Little Michael Braxton. No, <laughs> right, okay. right. Yeah, um, so it's a, a great thing that we can bring new talent to, to the theater. You know, a lot of these talents in our show, they're making their off-Broadway debut in New mm -hmm. York City. So we're so happy that we're able to do that for them. Yeah, so, they, so they'll so they be on Broadway like the two of you. Uh, yeah. I always get it confused, believe yeah. me. Who directs and who's in this show? Uh, I'm the director. Okay, yeah. so you're the boss. Uh, huh. well, that's what he thinks. <laughs> yeah, uh, we both pay for it. But, <laughs> but, but yeah. We, um, yeah, I direct the show. But, you know, I also utilize Anthony because Anthony has a great music background. Mm -hmm. And I don't sing, but I can arrange music. And he helps translate to everyone else what I'm thinking in my head. But I vicious. think, yeah. Yeah. I mean, when you're co-creating, you have to kind of yeah. balance, bounce off of each other ideas. Yeah. And so even when it was being created, we were like, oh, what about this? What about this? And so we would kind of piece it together. And I think with the Broadway career and the background that I have, I bring the musical, musicality and the mm -hmm. vocals as well as the the dancing and all the other stuff, the structure of it together. So, so that explains why you have not sat still since you actually <laughs> sat down. That's correct. On the stage. So are there th is there anything that surprises you? Look, I said you've been doing it for seven years mm -hmm. and it's the same you know, enthusiasm and energy every year. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that surprises you doing this kind of show where as opposed to when you're working in other, you know, other yeah. theater um, where people come sit in the audience, they watch you, you, you can't, it's hard to sit for this show. You gotta be up and in it. Uh, the most surprising thing for me in this show is to see 
people of all ages and mm -hmm. demographics getting along and having a good time because I can look in the audience, I look from the side to see what these people, how they're liking what we wrote, right? Uh -huh. And I see people like in their 70s, people bringing their great grandparents uh, and also their families and friends who are in the younger generation, they all are having a good time. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, we can't get them to leave the theater after the show because <laughs> they want to stay and dance. But Oh, come on stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> stage. Well, you got to start passing the collection plate. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We can do that too. <laughs> exactly. No, but no, it's really cool for me to actually see the the people, the young folk or the people who we get to be in the show mm -hmm. when they feel like they have the chance to just be themselves mm -hmm. and to see the growth of them from yeah. when we find them in the audition to see them flourish on the stage. And for me as an actor and, a, and like becoming and going into producing, you get to really see all sides. That transformation. Yeah, yeah it's really beautiful. Like even directing the show, remember the other day in um, rehearsal, I'm giving a analogies and examples of, you know, oh, uh, think of uh, Esther from uh, Sanford and Son. Uh -huh. And, you know, a lot of these young kids, they, they don't have know, no they idea, have no who, idea who Sanford and Son is. So it's funny, each time I'm learning different ways of how to direct and be better as well. So, uh, so you're yeah. old. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Here's the thing. Long in the tooth. There's no question, I'm the oldest person sitting on this set without question. So this show, <laughs> I, got, I love you guys. That's why I'm giving you a hard time. Uh, it's cool. Soulful Ooh. Christmas, a groovy mis musical review, December 20th through December 24th, the Marjorie S. Dean Little Theater, yeah. which is at 10 West 64th Street. That's so it's right. actually close to the studios this yes, year. Yes. So I got no excuse. <laughs> and if you're looking for tickets, a soulful Xmas dot com. Uh -huh. Soulful Xmas dot com. Yeah. Anthony. Kendrell. That's right. So nice to see you guys nice again. It's a pleasure to see you again, too. Early happy holiday to both of you. Thank and you. I have no doubt that everybody that walks out of that theater is going to be so happy that they came. Oh, uh, thank Thanks. you. They're ready to get their tickets now. now. That's right. Thanks now. for the opportunity. And we can't wait to see everybody <laughs> at a soulful Christmas. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and we will be right back.